Build viewer, here you go. This is the Prince Heinrich. Now, this is uh, the Weeb premium version of Tier 7 uh, Prince Heinrich Tech Tree German Battle Cruiser. Known for decent guns, hydro, good torpedoes, secondaries, not the greatest of armor. Right? Am I missing anything? I think um... that about covers it. Uh, concealment is on the mediocre end. Uh, secondary range is obviously 9.5. Otherwise, very solid. Also, does have very hard hitting torpedoes. Okay. So, great right. for brawling. And probably, probably one of the best turret seven battleships right now. It's they're fun ships to play. They're very fun ships to play. So let's take a look at your build here. You've gone for auxiliary armaments mod, uh, damage control, secondaries, and damage control again there's only one thing i would consider doing differently and that would be in the first slot i might choose to go for main armaments mod one simply because you've got torpedoes and you don't want those torpedoes to disappear on you right yeah that's a good that's a good point didn't think about that for for brawling uh, my thought was more for over a protract Yeah. Over a longer battle, anti-air guns and secondaries survivability might be important too. Get it. No problem. Uh, Tresok, is there a special captain here, or is it just a standard? Uh-oh. I think we lost Tresok. Oh. Can you hear me? Yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just the it's just the Azure Lane Captain. It is just okay. ten points. Okay. So this is even though it is the Wii Premium version, uh, it's actually probably not too much different than what anyone playing it up the tech tree might have. Okay. Now, a couple of things I'm noticing. It's, it's the exact... You go demolition, IFHE, long range secondaries, manual secondaries. Um now, with IFHE, you pen 32 millimeters of armor. At tier 7, that's fine because you can pen uh, heavy cruisers even at tier 9. You can pen um, French, British battleships because they have 32 millimeter armor all around. And then your 150s, uh, where is their pen? Where is it? There it is, 47. So that's cool. Um, all right, so you just you just went straight into secondaries, ten point caps entry sock, right? Yep, this is a I'm gonna just have fun play. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, if I were to nitpick this, I might start with preventative maintenance to just keep your torpedo tubes alive longer. Uh, I feel you make sense. I mean, secondaries make sense. I might drop manual secondaries for concealment i might make that my initial build but again you said you're just having fun so cool just have fun right yeah uh it's tier yeah it's tier seven uh i mean my my thought with it is going getting that uh we lost you again <laughs> it's all okay. Yeah, it, it has a kind of weird matchmaking. Um, so okay. whether I get, I can't really build hard, harder into the sec, uh, concealment. So okay. I'm going to have to take time to wait for the game out before I can get in. Um, and yeah, I was just like, yeah, just have have fun, yeah. be a kind of secondary brawler. Okay. Uh, obviously, you're going for you got fire reduction, both fire chances, blood chance, uh, secondary range. Now. You could have gone for ship speed. You could have gone anti debt. You could have gone for the heal. Uh, but whatever. You're you're conserving flags, credits. Personally, I would just get Julia Charlie and be done with it. But hey, it's your choice. Yeah. Now, Tresak, you said there is a death pick, right? There is a death pick. Okay. Let's look at the matchmaking straight tier 
Uh, eight to six, so you're middle tier. Uh, only three cruisers for you to beat up on, and then three destroyers and one sub. You are in the middle of the map. This is Seychelles. It's a relatively small map. You're, um, looking around a lot. Oh, yeah, because, um, shiny new boat. Now, this is the AL Prince Heinrich, so this is a premium version of the Tech Tree ship, correct? Correct. Yeah, I, I did could not find anything different between it and the Tech Tree. Yeah. Other than the fact that you can kind of just take a sleeping captain and slap it on it, because it is a premium so you can yeah. trains. Okay. Well, I was just about to ask, how did you pick this up? Did you get it through a crate or something, or...? No, I, I just bought it. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I don't... Can you even get it, uh, any of those, through the crates? Oh. I thought it was only the captains. I don't remember. It's only the captains, I believe. No, it's only the captains you can get from the okay. containers. You can't... You have to buy the ship, right? Thank you, Pac. Yeah, so you, got, you have to buy it. Okay, well, then you bought it. There you go. Also, so, South, this is a... I think this is a top-tier match, actually. Because I see one very nervous Tier 5 cruiser for Uh Gano, yeah. You're right, you're right. I can't read Roman numerals properly. This is a top-tier. Yep. Tresak, were you trying to say something? No, I was trying to remember if this was uh, this game or a different game, because I remember another one on this map. But no, yeah, this is top tier. Um, okay. Although I don't remember even seeing the tier 5, so it might yeah. as well have been just a two-tier game. Okay. Mayhan, now, um, you haven't sighted in on him yet. I would absolutely be looking at him. So I'm not sure why you're not Getting there you, there, you, there you go. You don't even need to shoot the guns necessarily. Just get an idea of what he's doing so that you're ready to go, you know? Yeah, my thought there was, ooh, cruiser. Can I get these over the island? I could not. Hawk, you did ultimately decide that you will reinstall the game in 2024. You just need a break? Hey, dude. If you need a break, take a break. Yeah, I, I, on speaking of taking a break, this was my first game after having not played in like three weeks because I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3. Ah, okay. I don't know that I would have shot at the Helena here. He's dark. No. Nah. Oh. Nah. Hydro might be a good idea, by the way, just in case the Mayhem sends torpedoes your way. Speaking of which, he dies to torpedoes, so that's kind of fun. So now my thought is, is, um, is I want to keep them pushed back from the middle here. Um, see if I, if the uh, Helena is going to be stupid and come forward. Because I mean, he's sort of sticking around. He goes broadside to you, you fired at him. You didn't get much hits, but still, it kind of its nice. I feel like you came out too early here, and he's going to instinctively back away from you. Ultimately, you could have dove the island and just waited for him to come out. Um, I'd wait to see if he overturns here. He is overturning. You didn't punish him. I think you fired a little too early. Yeah, that's the Helena set it up for you. Waterline stuff. Yeah. Extremely difficult to hit. Now is the Helena sorry. turning back in? Uh, is this another paid actor? I like that you notice this, you slow down, keep your secondaries in range of him, and just wait for him to panic and turn. It makes perfect sense. I wouldn't have fired here. I would have waited until he turned. Unless he was close to death, and then I would have fired. Fortunately for you, he's shooting skill shells at you. That's AP. 
and you're bouncing most of that hate, so whatever. Yeah, he was chunking me pretty good earlier with his HE, but... I mean, he's dead even before your primaries get the shot. You hit him with a torpedo. Okay. <laughs> that's uh, that's one yeah. way to do it, I guess. Yeah. I'm making good use of the the ship's torpedoes. Uh, and why not? Actually, come to th uh, the best. The better thing to do, if you ask me, is really you know, shoot like Helena's and Cleveland's. If you overmatch them, shoot them all their angles because you're actually more likely to get bigger hits than if you were to say shoot mm -hmm. them all broadside because you have a higher chance of just over penetrating them. Yes, you're exactly they are correct. Well to all it. All right, so yeah. in this point, I'm starting to think, okay, maybe I can I can push in on them, and then I realize that I'm just getting myself caught in a crossfire, so I'm slamming on the brakes and turning it well, around. Well, yeah, but it's kind of too late for this. You're right, this is the case. You put yourself between the Colorado, Yukon, and then on the other side, New Mexico, Duke of Yuck, maybe the Gneisen now. So, I wouldn't stop here. I'd go full speed and turn out instead of trying to reverse. Or I would just turn it and rush the Colorado. I mean, what's he going to do? My Honestly, thought is because yeah. the other battleships on the one two line, they they were turning to shoot at me. So I didn't want to get into a situation where I'm getting sticking myself out too far uh, because of that right. and getting hit by them. But what Shockwave was saying, and I actually agree with Shockwave here. Heal, by the way. There you go. If you would have gone straight at the Colorado instead of reversing here, and you angled straight at the Colorado, New Mexico, Gneisenau, Duke of Yuck, they don't have an angle on you. And then the Colorado and Yukon don't either. Yeah, you might as well just turn in now and then just run at them. Mm -hmm. Because from the looks of it, it just looks like the New Mexico and these guys are all just heading north to try and wheel around and get behind people. Yep. Because the general mindset of, let's be honest, the average player is like, oh, we have the flank, we need to push through on this flank. They don't give a second thought to, like, uh, you know, hey, maybe we should turn back because there's actually a problem. Because, like, look sure. where the Nice and I, look where the New Mexico are going, and look where the Duke York's setting, right? They're all going the same way. Right. Like, you might as well just wheel back and go at them. You don't have to deal with the Yukon or the Agano anymore. Because mm -hmm. they're just isolated on that flank. Look, we're all... Like, if you take a look at where all the bad guys are, they're more or less coming out on the New Mexico and shores. Yeah. So my, my thought go, before I went over there, though, was that they weren't all the way around yet. And I didn't have enough spotting on them um, that if I if I had if I had kept pushing out, I think they would have just stopped and turned on me. And then I'd be like the New Mexico kind of by themselves. So, and I wanted to turn around and make sure I could keep them from pushing mm -hmm. into our flank from that side. That makes sense. Oh, hey, look, destroyer. Yeah, nice. I find with these ships, they are great ships that if you're charging an enemy, they're terrible ships if you're sitting still. So I kind of feel like That's you almost smart. always need to be charging. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying uh, that first half was uh, peak uh, Heinrich gameplay, um, <laughs> but then, but then I get to uh, go in and, and start brawling, which is absolutely what these ships are designed to do. Yeah, I liken Schlieffen in a brawl as like Doom guy with a shotgun in the middle of a bunch of zombies. That does not involve the zombies. Because yep. Heinrich, especially at tier 7, where you get to face tier 5s, with the kind of secondary firepower it has, the kind of speed it has, the distributed armor scheme makes it very difficult to kill fire. if you angle correctly. Yep. And it does actually have better firepower than the Nizen Owl. I also got a sound coming from me because Nizen Owl does have better guns on a per barrel individual basis, but Heinrich overall has a better dispersion because it's got, you know, battle cruiser reactors. So 
And the secondaries also get improved dispersion, because they get mm -hmm. the boost curve, unlike the regular German secondaries. And so, Heinrich versus like tier 5s and tier 6s, it's a straight up slaughter. Like, they can't do anything. I mean, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. <laughs> By the way, okay, I was just waiting for you to DCP there. A little late on that, but okay. That was good, decent timing on the DCP, actually. There's a Shiro to you. Okay, good choice to shoot the Shiro. Right, just finish him off. Yeah. Also, his and mistake have... for sticking around in that smoke and waiting yeah, for him. Yeah, he should have. He should have been out of there. Our victory is in sight. Angle towards the new max. Perfect. Great bounces. Great bounces. All right. Mm -hmm. He eats a torp. York eats a torp. Enemy cruiser founder. Good shot. And Good now shot. it's just the new max and you. And the Duke of Yuck behind him. Yeah, also, I'm just ram the New Mexico. What's he gonna do? Angry? So, yeah, my He's thought was, if I, if he lets me, I can maybe get my torps off and get the kill and survive a little bit longer to deal with the Duke of York. Ah, you're getting greedy! Um, um, the other thing, he's already, he's, already, he's already backing up, so... And he's also taking a lot of hits because he, it's not just um, me by myself. He does have one more turret. And you're going for the turrets there, huh? Widespread the torpedoes. Widespread the torpedoes. I would, have, I would have just gone for the hull there, to be honest. Oh, you whiffed because him! You whiffed him! Whiffed him. Oh my God, oh. you whiffed him! Oh no, <laughs> widespread, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, nobody, nobody, look at that. But oh, we we are looking at this. Got the kill anyways. We we, we are absolutely looking at this. There was two mistakes that you made there, from my perspective. One was you whiffed the torpedoes, obviously. But two, why'd you go for the turrets? He was low enough that if you shot him in his nose, he's dead. Or the superstructure. Mm -hmm. Superstructure nose, you overmatch him, he's dead. You you live a little bit longer, you can put some shots into the Duke of York. Yeah, my so... my my thought was yeah. I mean, I was trying to trying to knock him knock him out knock them out. Yep. Um, yeah, it's good. What's a good death pack, actually? I know, right? I love the torpedoes in the that's corner. That's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh my god! So, um, hey, up close in person with an enemy, widespread, especially if one torpedo kills him. Who cares if you hit with three? You need one. That's it. So widespread it. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Or. Yeah, just yeah. shoot. So, so for for most yeah. of that too, I was also not actually planning on using my torpedoes because the angle that you have to open up with it, it, re it reveals a lot of its weaker side. Uh -huh. um, but when I did, when he didn't die after after I did knock out either of his turrets and he was still alive, that's when I turned to try and get the torps in. Um, and so that was sort of a last minute decision. So I didn't really go full views. in on either kind of plan okay. that so okay. I, there was a, there was a bunch of waffling around uh-huh yeah fair enough yeah all right split second decision it's understandable it's totally understandable what the heck is this we just had two raids come in one hair jedi and marching Mar marching gun gray hope i said that right Thanks, guys, for the raids. Welcome aboard, guys. March Here's Stevie years, and crew looking for food. Views. This is a replay analysis of Tre Evil Tree Sock. Who just uh, died. You guys, you guys uh, got to got to watch him sink. Congratulations. As uh, Evil Tree Sock was in the uh, Azure Lane Prince Heinrich. That was pretty fun, huh? So, welcome yeah. aboard, guys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a North American community contributor for World of Warships, and when we do replay analysis, we also do grind assist on the channel. We're at the replay analysis portion where people send me their replays, and I give them 
direct feedback uh, of their games. And there you go. Look at that. 100, first place by, by 500 base XP. That was a game. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I mean, it was, it was fun. There was a, 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 I mean, small, small fundamental mistakes, right? Like stopping yeah. in the middle of the open while there's like three battleships looking at you. The best thing to right. do, again, I would have just wheeled in and I would have ang because when you wheel in, you're pointing your bow directly at the Colorado, you're pointing your stern directly at the battleships behind you. They're not yep. going to have a good angle. Yep. Jared, thank you for the thousand bits, my dude. Appreciate that. So, uh, those of you guys that just jumped into the replay, welcome aboard. Here's the replay render of what, what you guys just kind of missed a little bit, which is Kreisach in the AL Prince Heinrich. That's correct. Duckman is our DJ. Uh, of course, if you've got music you want to listen to, you can request it, no problem. But yeah, I think that the real crux of this battle was you had the opportunity to just W at the Colorado and Yukon while keeping like like what um, Shockwave says, keeping your stern pointed towards the other th battleship threats. Instead, you chose to stop in reverse. That was just a very that was a very questionable play. Also, I mean, it, it worked you know, out. But... Wise, it worked, but towards the end, obviously. Yeah. Had you actually had the health that you lost from the Colorado unnecessarily, you would have been able, you would have survived that battle and you would have killed the Duke of York as well. We're looking at easily another 55, 60,000 damage on top of that because of how uh, efficiently you'd actually dealt with the enemies. Well, granted, some of them are low health, you know, and it's fair to say, like, yeah, you kind of just roll through those three, four guys at the end there. But at the same time, there was, you lost a lot of health unnecessarily towards the start of the battle. Like at yep. this point right here, where we're on the re replay render, you took a, what was that, a 16, 20k hit from the Colorado? 16 inch guns so, hurt. Yeah, they and, do. yeah, it's just unnecessarily, unnecessary bleeding, unnecessarily bleeding health. That's kind of, you know, one of my biggest things, you know, when especially when I'm shot calling for clan battles or just playing randoms, is like, is this a point where I'm going to be able to make a trade without losing more health than I can manage? If the answer is yes, then go for it. If no, find a different way to approach it. So I mean, this is some... You survive this also, also like... big props to that York for running into two of my Torps. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or I guess just one torp. But but this one is something torp. that I talked about uh, last weekend with Warships Classic, right? If you're going to take a Schlieffen into the battle and you're going to commit the Schlieffen, that Schlieffen cannot stop. At all. It, it just goes. And you have to find a way to through everything. Yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely got lucky with the way uh, things ended up playing out. What, yeah. Why does it say defeat? Um, That's uh, trackpad, trackpad, trackpad. It's trackpad's sir. fault. Sir. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Blame, blame trackpad for that. One. Hashtag blame trackpad. Right. Okay. Uh, is there anything else on this one to t to talk about? I think we kind of got through it all. Widespread on torps. Yes. Uh, what are we going to call this uh, for the video release? Commitment? Uh, I don't know. Am I allowed to name my own uh, replay? Yeah, go ahead, dude. Seriously. Oh, there's Shockwave. Hmm. Uh, there's not much else to talk about. This was just a standard top tier match. Yeah. So how would you name yeah. it, Freesock? Tech tree waifu supremacy. That works, I guess. All right. You don't have to use that. I. But but also it 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 is it is a tech tree ship. 
uh, when yes. it comes down to it. Um, so, yeah. like, hey. Okay. I'll say this, though. Do you have an Schlieffen, a surgery sock? I do. Or a, Schlieffen, or a secondary focus captain that's built for Schlieffen. You can basically slap this on the on the on this AL Prince Heinrich free. And oh yeah, it's a premium yeah. ship. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah so that's just uh, something for next time. Yeah, this was mostly because I wanted to use the special the uh, the anime captain. Okay. The weeb captain. Weeb captain. Weeb boat. Weeps. I mean, if that's what you want, then then fine. That that's a, that's what you get, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, Treesock, thank you for sending that replay in. That uh, that was fun to watch, actually, huh? You know, actually, one thing I do want to point out real quick, mm. right? If you pause it right here, if you look at who's following in behind me, is the Surrey, the Surrey, like so, like he saw he, where the Shores is running away, the Surrey is coming in to help. Mm -hmm. So he's, you know, so he's he's giving, trying to help provide that extra support. I don't think I killed the New, uh, the New Mexico without without the Surrey's help. Um, okay. After 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 the whole previous beginning of the game, so just that you know that uh, support team kind of mindset. Gotcha. Help your team out. Okay, and, and that's that that that's a worthy statement. I really think that's a worthy statement. So, okay, good. Um. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, go back to stream radio.